Hello everyone, my name is Tanesh. I am studying grade 4. Today I am going to give a speech on ocean. So, what is ocean? Ocean is a large body of salt water. So, there are many things in ocean. Some are trenches, ocean lives and a lot. So, let's talk about trenches. So, what are trenches? Trenches are things in ocean which in the ocean floor there will be some cracks. That's not as trenches. In the trenches, nobody knows what is there. Because the trenches are so deep. In that case, in one trench, they found a um, mysterious egg. In that, they thought to save Megalodon. But it was not a Megalodon because it was a great white shark's egg. But it was broken a little, so the baby didn't come out. So next, those trenches caused to many calamities and uh, natural disasters. For example, volcanic eruption, earthquake and a lot, lot, lot. They, we don't have fingers to list them. That much calamities it will create. And now, what is the deepest trench? The deepest trench in the world is the Mariner Trench. And do you know how deep it is? It is deep about 19,000 kilometers. And when you swim under the deepest part of the Mariner Trench, you feel like 10,000 African elephants are standing on your head. Will you able to bear that pressure? Absolutely not. Because that will crush your head and make it into like a puppet. So, we won't go to Mariner Trench. But in the world, only two set of humans, husband. One is some brothers. They went inside the marina trench so deep. Then they found something moving there. They thought it was a mysterious animal. And it was actually. But the scientists can't do it because they, they don't have any other things to go under the marina trench. Because the, their submarine was broken when the time they went up. They used life jackets and came back to the land. They were in... Suppose this is land and this is they were submarine and that broke into pieces. So they they wore life jackets and came back to the land. And finally there was many things there and one more was an old human. He said he had nothing to do, so he went there. Does this sound like a comedy? Actually it is. Because who goes to many times for fun? That's so dangerous. So that, that sounds like fun. But he really went. And that was serious. And here comes ocean lives. In ocean life, that include many things. And animals. Animals are the most important things in the ocean. And the largest animal is the blue whale. It weighs about 200 tons. Which means 2 lakh kgs. And it hides hard is a weight of a car and the squid do you know the giant squid it is the master of our it is a master of our ocean but actually not great white sharks will be like this is the squid and this is great white shark this squid will be like this much we are just like ah, it and go easy so that doesn't come in the part of the squid is majestic and its eyes are size of a basketball. But still the great white shark is the king of the ocean. And here, but there is one person who is giving so trouble to great white shark. Hey, have you ever heard the story of the bull, the elephant and the ant? In that, the ant goes, the elephant thinks that the ant is small and if it stamp it, it will die. And so it went inside the elephant stuck and bit it several times. It can't do anything. It can't itch itself. Many things happen. So it forgive forgiveness in this. The elephant is the is the white shark. And who's the ant? Try to guess it. Yes, you're right. It's the jellyfish. You may have a question. How is jellyfish so poisonous? It's actually poisonous than a snake. Not every jellyfish, but some jellyfishes. For example, boxer jellyfish. That's the most poisonous jellyfish in the world. Don't think boxer means like this. Nah, nah, nah. Boxer means without boxing itself, it will kill a anyone. It, like if you bite it, if it even touch it and it sting it, 
and it will just go away. It will just like wee wee wee, just go away. In that case, we we will die before going to the land itself. You know that a jellyfish's body is made up of ninety five percent of water. Rest five percent are made up of something something chemicals, and lot more. And the smallest smallest animal is the plankton, and there are some many kinds of plankton. In that, the smallest plankton is a zoo plankton, that is so small that we should see with a microscope. And here are the slowest animals. The slowest animal includes uh, uh, the slowest animal includes seahorse. Uh, uh, seahorse. Because don't think the seahorse is we can ride like a horse. But who knows why scientists get the name as seahorse? It can't ride like a horse. It's um, it's not big as a for. It's not big as a horse. It doesn't have a tail like a horse. It doesn't have anything. It has just a nose like a pig and a small, small, tiny, tiny eyes and more. But it moves zero point one point zero kilometers per hour. Do you understand what? Well, I'm not so good at math. That means the in one meter it runs one ten centimeters. For one hour it could run ten centimeter, but yet it is living. But some other also there octopus. So octopus it's not that much slow as compared to seahorse because that is so slow. Then how could in movie they say that this is so big? This can come so fast like that. And now. Here comes the fastest thing. The, I mean the killer whales. You know that the killer whales are actually not related to the whales because they are related to the porpoises and the dolphins. Do you know the dolphins? Yeah, the dol. Do you think the dolphin is an aquatic animal? No, no, no. Absolutely not. It's an aquatic animal. It has fish. It's a fish. It has fins like a fish and lot. But still, it has to come up to breathe. Do you know that whales, porpoises, and dolphin? We could see them in the land because they are not. They are not aquatic animals. They have to come up for to breathe. But here is a special thing about whale because if whale breathes once, it takes a lot of air inside that it can live until ninety one nine zero ninety hours in that. In the ocean, and next, here is the ocean. And do you know how waves create? Waves create by a builder. Can you see this picture? In this picture, there is ocean, and in that, you see some winds come and the waves come. And the winds are marked as grey part, and the waves are marked as blue part in this picture. And finally, finally, there is the important of this. What? Important of ocean because the ships come from import and export to in the Indian Ocean and they use a lot of fuel for that. They use oil a lot and a lot. We can count it. And you know that Indian Ocean is a home for very very rare animal. Do you know what I mean? Yes, you got this one also correct. And that is the hunchback whales. The hunchback whales are the whales which has hunchback, and they will swim like slow also, fast also. We can compare them. For example, like humans. Humans don't go fast as cheetah, not fast, not slow as tortoise. Compare to that, and here Indian Ocean is also a lame, also a egg farm for the thresher sharks. Thresher sharks have so different things, and they. If we close, if we watch it closely, we'll be scared because that will be so terrifying. And here, finally, comes the coral reef. Wait, coral reef and sea animals look like plants, but it's actually animals. Wait, why did we miss plants? Hey, wait, what's the big matter in this? We could just take plants now. So, what are the most plants in the water? Duckweed. Ah, 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 and more. But still, we have so many plants, and each plant is known for a different thing. For example, water lily. Water lily is known for its beautifulness, and algae. Algae is known for its softness. But still, 
nobody likes to touch it because of its smell and do you know that oceans algae produce 20% of the earth's oxygen because the ocean becomes so warm and and it will be it will be a ocean it will be an oxygen thing for the algae and here comes do you know why does the ocean looks blue everyone says that it's the reflection from the sky actually not the uh, water has slight blue color which is visible when we put a lot of water together in one place i mean in the ocean even sometimes in the river we could see in the cold map it's there blue so that water has a slight blue color we can't avoid it and we can't take it out and finally the here comes the coral reef the coral reef is formed by small tiny animals called polyps so when polyps die their skeletons harden so other polyps can live in it so other polyps live they die other move it so this process takes a long okay now in the last here is the fun fact and the fun fact is that there is a, a big the largest coral reef is situated near australia thank you